Hi everyone. So basically, uh, we used to face difficulties to get a distinct row for all the, I mean, which will have all the columns. Okay. So now there is two way to get a distinct. So I am going to explain this two way. So let us try for this one. So here, if you can see, uh, this is column one. If we are passing like this, then it will return you to columns only. If we are going to pass like this, then it will return one column okay let us try so basically this will return a new data table having only one column if we are using this and distinct value of the column from the original table now let us see so i have uh, this data table if you can see okay now i'm going to apply this function so i'm applying here dt default view to table to and company name. okay let me run it if I'm going to run it we will see the result ok it's ran successfully I'll go here open the file and this file is having only one column that is going to have this record which is distinct means unique record now suppose we wanted to apply for two columns so let us see our data table this is having two columns that is company name and company code so i'll go here and i'll apply if uh, again i'll add one more column that is going to be company now uh, i will run again I can go to the file and open it you will be able to see there is two columns okay so in the two columns whatever the value is going to be unique on the basis of those it is taking the values from here now let us try the second way so what is the second way second way is to by using the linking query that is as you normal it is grouping by the function then it is going for a string and then it is filtering by the value using the company name so whatever company name is going to be unique it is going to extract those value and write into a data table so you will get all the distinct columns values along with data rows then i mean then you can apply the filter according to you so let us let me enable that function you can see the same data table i I'll go here. Let me show you the function. This is the function which I have written already. Okay. Now I'm going to run. Now you can see it is not going to divide by one column, two column. It will take all the rows with all the columns. all the videos are done. Okay, thank you.